right guys I'm probably a hot sweaty stinky mess but we almost got it done there's still a lot more to do but we're getting there Whew. this was hard work <laughs> here I'll give you guys a closer look of it okay so this is it We're doing this to keep out all these pesky deer and the rabbit so that way they don't come and eat all the good stuff that we plan on planting in here. The only thing we have left to do so far is this right here. This is going to be where the door goes right up here. That's the gate. And then we just have to enclose this area right here. This part is still open. But the one thing we didn't make sure we had enough of was screws. So now we have to come back out here another day to just finish the rest of this. But we got our hole dug right here. So all we have to do, so all we have to do is just put the screw in. I mean, put the post in, put some more screws up. And then over here, we have the deer netting. Because if you can see, the posts, they go up. Because from top to like right about there is three feet. And then if you go up a little bit more, that's another three feet. So we're going to enclose this whole entire area with deer netting. So that way the deer won't jump in. Because they jump pretty high. I mean, eight feet would be ideal, but... Right now, we can only do about six. All right, so that's so that's the update on it. So I'll let you guys know how it looks once we finish everything. It'll probably take us like another day. But I work tomorrow. My husband works tomorrow. So we're going to have to come back maybe like next weekend to finish it up. But all right, guys. I'll let you guys know when it's all done. Thanks for watching. Right, guys, we're back Bye. out here and finally it's finished. I finished the fence. It was a lot of work and I had to do it without the help of my husband because he had to work but my daughter came with me and she helped me put the finishing touches on everything. So let me show you. So so far we have the gate here. It's a little wobbly. Again it's not perfect because I've never built something like this before. Growing up in the city in New York I never had to do anything like this so this is all new to me, so forgive me if it looks kind of messy. But see, we have the fence, we have the gate here. So I put a little handle, and then I have this little lock just to keep it closed. And then, um, I don't know what to do about this. There's a bit of a gap. I'm just hoping it's still not big enough where a little baby rabbit could squeeze through. It gets a little tighter as we go down here. But I've also noticed there's a few issues with spacing. Again, I'm not good at doing these type of things. I've never done it. I mean, it's good for what it is, but it has some imperfections. So I noticed there's another little gap here. It's about, I would say like about an inch wide. I don't know. Maybe I'll put some sort of netting over that. That might help keep those little critters out. And then, so over here, we kind of messed up a little bit, again, with spacing. So we're one beam short. Because if you look over here, it's kind of hard to tell. But that kind of spans outward a little too much. It should be more in this way. So it made our uh, measurements a little off. So what I did... I just got this beam, I connected it from there to there, screwed it, I put like a little support right here for this uh, little panel. And then now, so this is open, I'm just going to close that off with some hard wire cloth to keep everything out. But yeah, so let's go inside. Yay. I'm excited to start planting out here. Oh yeah, but the only other thing we have to do is add the deer netting up here. Because this, like, I'm like 5'9", so this is pretty close to my height. Like, I wanted it to be 6 foot, but, um, I don't know. 
know, I guess we kind of messed up with that too. Like this one is higher than the other one. So, I don't know. We probably buried it too. So we just have to put their netting around all around here. So once we have that up, we should be good to go. But if you look over here, like I bought some some soil and a couple of other things. Like I bought my worm casting, so I'm gonna start mixing in everything. And I just want to start getting a layout for how I'm gonna plant everything. So it's hard to visualize it now, but definitely when I start outlining things, I'll make a video and show everybody how it's gonna look. But yeah well i have another video that i plan on putting out soon showing like all of the different seedlings that i have and those things they're taking off the peppers are finally coming in things are looking good so i'll definitely be out here soon putting my little babies in the ground so because the weather's warming up i think we might be good with um freezes we had one frost about two weeks ago and I'm hoping that's the last one because I'm really ready to start working the ground, getting my peppers, my tomatoes. I got some gourds that I'm doing, seminal pumpkin, watermelon, and then I still have my onions way over there. I'll take you guys over there probably later and show you how that looks. Um, yeah, so we're making progress. Still got a little bit more work to do. But definitely, I'm excited and I can't wait for everyone else to see what's going to be going out, growing out here. It's going to be nice. And even though it's not a huge space, I'm going to definitely make use of every inch that I have out here. Because I just want to maximize my production. Usually when I garden like years before I was I had limited space I was only able to grow a little bit but now I have all of this inside the fence and out so certain things that I know deer and rabbit don't eat will go outside like how I said I have the potatoes and the onions outside so other things like I'm gonna plant like ginger turmeric leeks those things tend to not get bothered as much. Oh yeah, and then also my hot peppers. So those will be going outside of this fence. But yeah, it's gonna be fun. So, all right, I guess that's it for now. I'll make sure to make another video soon. All right, take care guys.